Today, we're going to be talking all about having difficult conversations. I recently had a chat with Chad Lefebvre on, on this show, all in celebration of our men of co-creation. And um, as part of that, we're looking at the, the variables, right, the factors, the elements that go into creating really good co-creative environments. And, and that's no small feat, as we've been discussing, right? Uh, co-creation is not for the faint of heart. And there are a lot of intricacies and nuances when we get into the energetics of it. And so, so part of that is being able to have conversations, right? Talk about things that are uncomfortable, right? Things that we don't agree on, maybe things that, that we have real feelings about that maybe that hurt our hearts, right? And, and when, we, when we don't know how to manage those responses, it can be really intimidating to get into conversations where we feel like um, those things are going to come up or where they do come up and then how to manage it, particularly when these are relationships that we really, really care about. And, and so there are a lot of ways that you can mitigate for this. And of course, there are numerous variables, not, not the least of which is you, right? How do you handle conversations? How do you want to handle conversation? There's no one size fits all, but there are some things we can all think about that help each of us develop our own ways of how we want to respond in certain situations that make us uncomfortable. First and foremost, it's important to remember you're going to be uncomfortable, right? Chances are really, really good that if you're having a conversation that means anything to you, somebody might not agree with everything that you're saying, it, but there's a really cool dynamic that works here that I think if we can wrap our minds around, it, it makes it a little bit easier when we disagree. So, so internally, as we're, as we're learning what we want to believe, what we want to think, right? And that's ever changing. Right? We're constantly reevaluating, right? Constantly assessing at an energetic level. And, and, and for a while that drives us a little bit crazy because our world feels a little bit more wonky than we'd like for it to because we're changing, right? Um, there, there's this whole developmental process that occurs before we're really ready to stay, state, you know, I am this and I, and I want to create this and this is the kind of life I want to live, right? That, that's an ongoing journey for us. And so you can imagine that each step of the way change occurs and here over the last few years we saw change occur really really rapidly and massive changes made a lot of people very very uncomfortable it's to be expected when we see these huge waves great fine that sounds like torture tonya thanks anyway right no no it's worth sticking it out and here's why i promise you it gets better so even though all of that's going on right we have ways that we can learn to actually use that right we've got folks working with it. it's like okay it's uncomfortable, but what's that really mean in my system? It means change is happening. How can I respond to that, right? And once you're able to get into a little bit more choice with how to respond to that, then you feel much more confident. You're able to imagine yourself in, in a bigger sort of perspective, if you will. It opens up your choices, right? Okay, so how do you do that, Tonya? Yes, please sign me up. I want all of that right now. Do you have a red pill? I'll take it. Um, no, and it's not as difficult as it sounds. So, but, but there is a little bit of work that goes into it. As you can imagine, you've been developing yourself differently than that for probably quite a long time now. So, so the unraveling can, can be a little bit, um, can take a moment. Here's where you start though, super simple. Imagine first, like one of the steps that we do over at Superpower Experts is the very first step, right? Is expanding your mind, right? And it seems so simple. We talk about it all the time. But it's really important to remember that most of us operate just right inside this, this little thing right here, right? And, and we're huge. We're incredibly expansive beings. But when we go to our own internal processor, right, our own internal computer in there, we're, we're quite limited in, in, our, um, in, in the scope of how we look at a situation. And so imagine just, just imagine the energy like that light that's shining in your head, just getting bigger, right? We teach that technique over at C 